Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I would like to play first. So, so yeah, I'm now recording. Uh, but your voice, uh, other people's voices are not being recorded, just my voice. So uh, as it look, it's going to be look like I'm be talking to no one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can hear your voice. I, yeah, I, I kind of like this hand. Hey man, hope you're doing okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd almost think just play out the pedal, play out the tomb, play a painter. No, and welder. Yeah. I mean, right. Exactly. Yeah, that 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 will be the point of playing out paint on turn one. Playing out paint on turn one is always a bit tricky because of creature removal. So usually, just playing the grindstone is 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 safer. Exactly. Yeah, that's 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 kind of the whole point. Yeah. Yeah. So next turn would be something like if I don't draw a land, uh, grindstone and play well then elves yep <laughs> and a win yeah, yeah. So, so. I, I'm I'm just guessing elves. I'm guessing elves. I'm I'm guessing concede right now, but yeah. Yeah, Pyromancer MVP. <laughs> yeah. I mean let's say it it could be Maverick, it could be Elves. Exactly, Paraclasm would be good in both cases. Um, Blood Moon is... I find this such a difficult one. Against Maverick, Blood Moon is good. Uh, on the draw, it's always worse. Um, get rid of three Blood Moon? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 j I'm not really such a fan of Blood Moon just a couple of them, but I get the idea of you don't want to have it in your opener, but seeing it somewhere in the game is not terrible. Um so yeah so blood moon yeah so ideally the the thing with three is if if you want to see something once a game then you put in three cards if you want to see it in multiples and as soon as possible you put in four um so I guess we will see a Blood Moon at some point in the game. And uh, purely by anecdotally, we won't see any paracl uh, Paraclasm because we never do. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is insane, just tr trying it out, right?
No, not yet. I haven't been able to play it now. So this is a turn one blood moon <laughs> and nothing else. And, and nothing else though. Um, so we can stop them. Let's say turn two blood moon, turn three paraclasm. But then we don't have anything else, right? So we can wipe that board, but it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you rely only on what we're going to draw. If it's Maverick, I would keep this because of Blood Moon, turn one. If it's Elves, you know, let us Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep it. I, I, maybe it's a, it's, it's a, it's a bad decision. It, it is all b because it's all based on the cards that we draw. If we draw one land, then it's already bad, right? That's kind of the thing. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe they're searching for the first figure. The mulligan to four. Oh. Yeah, that's nuts. That is intense. Okay. Mulligan to four. What did you keep? Oof. Discard. What is this then? Yeah, yeah. Still elves. Yeah, still elves. Shit, and, and here you see where not having any business is going to be bad. At least, yeah. So I almost feel like just playing out the spirit guide. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I'm just gonna do it because otherwise we just risk them getting back into the game so bad. The blood moon would have wrecked them, yeah, for sure. Oh, this is elves, yeah. Okay, at least we know. Wow. Elves going down to four. They'll probably fetch a try up. This is good. So here I would probably get Seasoned Pyromancer or Crater Maker. Yeah. And then we but then we lose if if, if we put if we do that then we lose then we don't get any tokens. So I don't think that's a good idea because then we lose pyroclasm. I mean, pyroclasm is not going to do. But but if we want to get season pyromancer, the whole point would be to also get some tokens, right? To 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 get more of a beatdown. Um. So. First of all, I definitely want to play this. And I, yeah, I do think season pyromancer is the best one. I do not want to get rid of the pyroclasm. Lines of diamond I don't care about. Like anything else right now, I don't have anything of substance. So the pyromancer is going to be best, I guess. The yeah, other idea would be engineer because we do have uh, these kind of things. And then we could do engineer for, for nothing though. Yeah. Then we p yeah. 
yeah, true. Yeah, they, they, they could play out the Archon, but they need the mana first now. Yeah. The fetch will dry it and they have three mana. How much does the Archon cost? Six? Ah, uh, natural order. Right, right, right. True. Yeah, if they have a natural order in the hand. Yeah, this, but this is a really good example why this hand wasn't good because say it, it, it goes by the idea that we're stopping them but we need to be able to do something ourselves. So next turn, for example, we could play Pyromance to get rid of Lion's Eye Diamond and the Tomb or something like that. Right. Yeah, and at, at the moment you could even say the Pyroclasm is, is, is a terrible play for us. <laughs> Ooh, that's big. That's actually pretty big. Um, what can we do? So this is Blood Moon, but then we don't have mana for the... Yeah, I feel we do need to play the Blood Moon though. Yeah, so we're gonna attack first. Yeah. Okay, do they have Abrupt Decay or something like that? Yeah. They have two cards in hand. That would be great if they throw away their hands, yeah, for a force of vigor. Um, yeah, what's happening now? Exactly. DK. All right, that that that's okay. Um, am I gonna play out a land? I'm not so sure. I don't need it. I think. No, I don't need it. Yeah. Yep. DK. One card in hand. Nine life, exactly. Natural order. Yep. Yep, this is bad. Yeah, we, we expected that. Choose artifact. Okay, that is. Uh, yeah. I think I get rid of the pyroclasm here. Yeah, it's difficult. Karn would be good. Can't play it though. Can't play artifacts. So I'm, I'm looking for creatures, ideally looking for an engineer to get an ensnaring bridge in play, something like that. Um, I still want to play this. I think I want to play it off the... F I'm not so sure if I draw. No, I don't, but... It's, this a Ancient Tomb activation is not going to change the outcome of the match. The next one would, I think. Yeah, still not. Uh, 
exactly if I if I draw the engineer I could play it out so here I'm gonna get rid of the pyroclasm and the I think the lions are diamonds because it doesn't do anything wow mulligan to four our hand was not prepared for that and, and we sh just shouldn't have kept that yeah well in this case paraclasm wasn't good no but so they didn't play anything <laughs> wow wow okay i have tokens i could attack block do one damage it doesn't do anything right it doesn't do anything yeah i kind of have to attack this is a very shitty situation the mulligan to four Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, in general though, Pyroclasm should be a lot better. Against elves, but this game is just so weird. Wow. Yeah, yeah. wow, 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 wow. This threat comes. Oh man. Yep, now we don't have the pyroclasm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't play it. Yeah, this is not. Yeah, we, we, we're pretty much dead. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Pyroclasm is still good. Blood Moon is Blood Moon was good here. Definitely on the play is going to be good. I think I'm gonna take out an, a Pyroblast for that. Um Wow, yeah, it was just a bad hand. On the play I wouldn't have kept that hand either, I think. Because they get rid of your Blood Moon and you're done, kinda. Right, but there's force of figure, right? If they had that. Yeah. Uh I think I'm gonna keep it to this. Blood Moon is actually good against them. <laughs> okay, I like this. This one sucks. I have a blood moon. Yeah, something like that. And I'm thinking we could get a recruiter for engineer, something like that. Right, yeah, it's 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 sick. But honestly, I don't think, exactly, I don't think they were lucky. We had a bad hand that we kept. Um, so, so here. Yeah, so we could play turn one painter, turn two, see what we have. But we at least have the lines of diamond for speed. We could play the blood moon or the recruiter there. I think I'm going to keep this. Of course, they could have destruction and everything, but... Um, at least the turn to Blood Moon is not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Could with the recruiter could get 
exactly could could immediately get the engineer and threaten the win next turn uh, I expect them to have a lot more destruction now here we go again Tatsis yeah yeah oh he's going for the grindstone or the blood moon I think they kind of have to get the grindstone Like how confident are they that I don't have him? Grindstone, okay. Whew, chose grindstone. That's a good thing. So it doesn't imp so it implies kind of that they don't have force of vigor. It does not imply that they don't have uh, abrupt DK because of course they just don't have the mana for that right now yeah but now I kind of I, <laughs> I don't know I kind of feel like getting uh, blood moon out why or do I just feel pressured yeah I think I've played a blood moon just I play out the Dime, no. Yeah, Force of Figure could hit, but I don't think, they, they just kind of signaled they don't have Force of Figure. Um, so I'm just gonna play out the Blood Moon here. Yeah, I, I don't think they have force a figure, but still, I should have shouldn't have played it like this. I should have attacked first, but yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep this up for ah, uh, they have force. Okay, N now now they could cabal therapy. They didn't know I have the pyroblast. Yeah, thinking of pyroblast, class pyroblast in the forest. Because they don't have force of figure right now. They could of course draw it, that really, really hurts, but and I, I can't play the recruiter now. That they, they yeah, that's something we know, but at least we have the pyroblast. Yeah, I would I think I would go ahead and pyroblast the force. Okay, they're getting dried arbor now. So th that is not green mana at least. Mm -hmm. But what what would they what would they expect? Recruiter. Okay, I can't I can't play it anyway. I mean it's. Mm. But it kind of shows that he's desperate. Just draw a grindstone, yeah, that's... I mean, <laughs> I, I always tell you, just draw a grindstone and win. Like, a terrible situation. All you have to do is draw a grindstone and win. It's usually the case. Yeah, I think I'm going to blast the forest. I kind of have to. Yep. I could have played the land, but, no, but, but I could have played the land, but that doesn't change anything because if I draw a land now, I'm not behind. You know? Okay, so now I could start doing weird things if I want to with the uh, welder and astrolabe. Exactly, I can start drawing cards between Astrolabe and Great Furnace or something like that. Oh right, that's the uh, Birchler Rangers. 
Uh, how, how, wh what does Birchler Ranger do? Yeah, but what does it, uh, let me check. But how do you turn it up? Ah, you need to play green, pay, you need to pay green. You need to pay a green to turn it face up. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Yeah, S okay. So, oh good, oh good. Yeah. Just just draw a grindstone, right? I can kill that, can I? No. Is this blue? Uh, it doesn't say it's blue. Summoning sick. Is blue, blue and red. Oh, this, this is weird. Are more creatures... How do more creatures work? I almost feel like not even trying. Have no name, color, mana cost, or creature types. Okay. I mean, if that's an overriding thing, then sure. That's an interesting one. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not under any pressure. I'm not under any pressure, but this does make it weird. I mean, their only out should be force of figure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still gonna swap, of course. Uh, yeah, furnace. Just draw a grindstone and win. This is an interesting game. This is so weird. Yep. 
and I just need to draw a grindstone Now at least I can't attack. Oh yeah, I could attack, shit. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Not playing that well. Uh, finally. That should be the kill. No force of figure. No oof. This blood moon makes me think I should keep it in. No, but the thing to remember with elves is that they are really, really fast game one, but game two and game three, they really need to make concessions and they're a lot slower if they board in Thotsies, Abrupt DK, Force of Figure, they are definitely a lot slower. And that's just to keep in mind that you, that, that would mean that if they play more heavily on uh, those cards, they play more heavily on uh, the uh, the mana that is more vulnerable, right? So then Blood Moon does become better just for um, taking them out of uh, Abrupt DK, for example. Unless, of course, they have personal rangers and so forth. Yeah, two forces. Mm -hmm. So the thing with the virtual range, I'm, I'm just going to ask it in uh, the judge uh, Discord server because I just really wonder how that works. The, because the thing is, the morph creature just gets created out of nowhere and i don't know if it is a if it's a, something that supersedes everything that it has no color or not it's, it's just kind of a weird thing uh, cool all right on the play this is oh this is a slow hand turn to blood moon no idea if that's good Otherwise, a turn to recruiter, but blowing a petal. Yeah, on the play. It's kind of slow. So this would be a turn to recruiter for But then we need another mana. Yeah, I don't like this hand. I like this a bit more. And here I would get rid of the Karn because I think it's least likely that I can play that. The bridge is also a choice. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of the bridge here. I really don't know what I'm up against. At least I have a play, turn one and turn two. Um, yeah, La last hand was difficult. It was just really slow. Oh. 
Where is our echo? Welder is decent there. Not if it has summoning sickness. <laughs> All right, that's good. Now, now echo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like seven new cards. I, I like the blast, but there's a chalice. I, I hope they crack a bubble. <laughs> I, I cannot play four cards in my hand. So. Like. I feel I have to play this because next turn what they could do, of course, they could go crazy with Narset and whatever, but I, I, I need to do something. Yeah. Trinity Sphere would be amazing here on the play for sure. Uh, just a one-off, so it gets a bit difficult. Um, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> thing is, whatever I d whatever I get, it will be in the graveyard, right? And what is going to kill me will be Urza and stuff. So I'm actually thinking Exterring Bridge. Uh, and, and Karn. Karn will also kill me. <laughs> no. Yeah, they're not, they're not cracking any artifact though. But okay. Whew, that hurts. At least I have two creatures in play, that's something. And I have no artifact. <laughs> they can be bothered with this. Yeah, the blast came a turn too late. Um, I could also have gotten Painter, but still, I, I need to get rid of that Chalice. And for that, I need to get Karn into play. Lines are Diamond. So he's going to go for a next turn Lattice or another. Yep. I'm going to get rid of Chalice for Chalice, I think. And now I would like a painter. Maybe I should have gotten. Okay. I like it. I like it. Ho. Oh. Um. Okay, so I don't have a Karn anymore. That's okay. Uh, I could, so for three mana, I could get rid of the Karn. Because they can get Lattice next turn. One, two, three, four. They they will get Lattice for sure next turn. Then the question is, do I do I use Crater Maker or Power Blast to get rid of that? The issue is he's going to play Lattice next turn. So I, I, I need to get rid of the Karn. Do I do it with Painter or not? That's a, kind of the question. Yeah, I could go... I could go Painter. Because, yeah, I, I could attack Karn, play Painter, hold Power Blaster's backup. Just that. Just keep, keep it simple. Keep. We can hear you.
The thing is, he, he might. So he's going to play Lattice next turn if I don't do anything about the Karn. Otherwise, next turn he might have an Urza. At least I'll be able to counter that. Or an Urnarsa or something. So. Sorry? If I want to, I could counter the Lattice. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um. I could do crazy things here. Crazy. The thing is, lattice makes everything colorless, and so I cannot. Yeah, yeah. The last one works is by timestamp because it's both on the same layers, and there's no dependency between them. Meaning, this it's not like if if one goes first, the other one is not possible anymore. Okay. Wow, they're seeing a lot of cards. This is this is really good. Yeah, that well there turn one was pretty pretty clutch. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be Urza perhaps. N O. Don't think they played Force of Will. They could have played a Chalice and one, but then they couldn't have played anything else anymore. So now I can still I can kill Emery with uh, uh, Crater Maker, and then I can just kill Karn. Yep. So this is good. This is being. Uh, conservative uh, just fine so I could play the crater maker do I need to keep anything no I think I'm just going to do it with the f no not with the furnace because of Karn just do it with the mountain no let, 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 let's see what we can do uh, yeah if, if we want to play both of these I need to Use um, the third mountain. Third mountain. Yeah, no, I can't do that. So I think I'm just going to do it with all mountains. Uh, crater Maker, kill Emery, and kill the Karn, exactly. And kill that one. Yep, keep the welder, kill Karn. That's true. Yeah. True. True, yeah, I could have swapped out the opal because now I'm open for Urza. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a coin, okay. Okay, now I'm going to swap out the Opal Four Petal. I should have done that already, but yeah. Should have done that already. So at least next turn, uh, Lattice wouldn't do much because I could kill, no, I couldn't kill the Karn yet. No, I couldn't kill the Karn, so I could still Lattice next turn. But he doesn't have, they, they don't have the mana and they can't, they can't play Lion's Eye Diamond because of Chalice, yeah. All right. Nice. 
Um, I could go Furnace, Pyromancer, Blast the Karn, and just attack with these two. I think I need to blast it. I kind of feel like I need to blast a car and they can get whatever. Yeah. I, I do not, I, the thing is, I do not want to let them do anything with the car because they can get things like walking ballista and just, just shoot my stuff yeah but why why not just get, why not just blast the car in the first place and just be done with it right yeah play the pyromancer first gonna get rid of the lion's eye diamond and the furnace then But if we're talking about winning, right? Then we need to. Um, okay, so we get. If if we get rid of these two, we have enough mana for, Karn. We have enough mana for grindstone and winning, right? Right, okay, I'm gonna get rid of these two. All right, this this is this is good. This is good. Now I can still counter whatever they would bring to the table. Yeah, play the furnace. And now I could swap if I want to, no, nah, I don't want to swap anything. I think, not right now, because I, I, I want them to. I want to put the pets on to play for them. Just, and their big um, threats cost four, and then you have Narset and Echoes, but their big threats cost four, so that means that they would tap out. We counter it. Okay. Chinese so first good on the play. So this is a race to Karn and the race to creatures, really. Blood Moon is not good here. It slows them down, it slows us down more because they have more artifact mana. Um, they might not keep what, sorry? Uh, they, will th they should definitely keep in the Chalice of the Void. They should just be wary of it, but they should definitely keep it in. Yeah, but what, what what they do, they just play a turn one Chalice of the Void and I cannot get rid of it except for with Crater Maker, right? I don't play a Braid, so... I don't like Surgical Extraction here, it doesn't stop Echo of Eons, it does stop some cards like uh, Lion's Eye Diamond, but yeah, I mean it's it's sur surgicals are probably better than Blood Moons, yeah. What I was thinking of was Chandra, but I think it's just too expensive just to kill Karn, right? Yeah, way too slow. It's it, yeah, the idea would really be just just to kill Karn, but. Uh, and even Trini Sphere, it's good on the draw, uh, on the play, but on the draw, they would just vomit their hand. <laughs> so, 
very likely that we'll go to game three, depending. All right, so this is a very chalice on one, and I'm dead, kind of. So I'm going to mulligan this, because they, they will probably mulligan to... Uh, ooh. It's, it's not great. It might, might sound weird, but I'm almost thinking of keeping this. And then I'm not sure what I get rid of. I probably get rid of surgical because it has the least impact. Yeah, line nine diamond, at least you can do some weird things with. But yeah, I'm, I'm just expecting. At least I have a creature on turn one. It's not amazing, but at least there's a creature on turn one. Creatures really matter in this matchup. The mulligan to five. I think they really did a hard mulligan to chalice. I mean, this deck is also to mulligan just like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So chalice and pass perhaps. All right, no chalice. That still means we cannot kill it because we don't have a red source. We did discard an echoes. So we could also just go mountain pass. They have Lotus Petal, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're going to cast Echo of Eons and they're going to get a lot of value from that. Yeah, unless they now get a Chalice. Of course, I also could have blasted the Emery, but big chance they could just draw land or something like that and play the Echo of Eons anyway. So ideally, blast Echo of Eons and then play Painter next turn, something like that. Or you can create a make it to get rid of the Emery. Hmm. It's 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 f immediately s you s you're we're behind, it's so so fast now. Okay, so they saw my Painter. Nah, yeah, but they, but they have to go for it. Th that that's the way it is. They they have to go for it. That's how the deck also kind of goes. Ooh, I cannot get rid of that. So yeah, I think that's with Emery. Okay, at least they are turned slow, right? Uh oh. Uh oh have it anyway um well i'm not gonna crack this that doesn't make any sense no okay that's so much value that's nuts can't get rid of that at least have yeah and i could I, at least get rid of some stuff with uh pyromancer It's funny how this deck suddenly gained a lot more popularity. It folds against Delver, is all. Mm -hmm. Okay, that could be a Karn. Pull. Those chalices are full, they hurt. Okay. 
the left chalice they see my next card that's a mountain um i feel like i do have to play painter just that just to play something yeah i could i could have played it with the mountain i should have played it with the mountain Shit, Pyromancer doesn't do anything because of Narset. Uh, so I need to get rid of Narset. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So they also see my next cards. So they know I have a mountain. Okay, that's good. They might play Urza or whatever. <laughs> Karn. All right, at least it's not an Urza, but next turn they will have. I need to draw uh, Karn. Oh, this hurts. Oh, this hurts. Yeah, this is a good game. This is a good game. I think I'm just going to. Uh... Okay. Not this. <laughs> ne next turn, Lattice. Oh, I'm very dead. Just, just, I'm very dead. Next turn, Lattice. Very dead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, once they get the Lattice in play, from the next turn on, they have a 6-6. Six, six. So here, I w I'm thinking of boarding in the grindstone, maybe for surgical. I don't like the surgicals here, um, but I think I should have the extra grindstone in just to get a really fast combo. I hope for the best. It's 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 really a thing of who's going to be faster, right? So we would get Welder in play turn one, that's good. And then we could get rid of a Chalice. We could have counter backup. I kind of like this hand. Yeah. I, I'm definitely going to play turn one Welder because it, a very normal play for them would be turn one Chalice and then I'm kind of done. Uh, and the Welder would really turn that around. Yeah, and if they if they blast, uh, sorry, if they Echo of Eons, then, well, yeah, it's, it's kind of fine. Yeah. Yeah, of course I cannot uh, discard. Uh, I, I cannot surgical uh, echo of eons itself, but that's the way it is. If I, yeah, exactly. If if I could hit a Karn, oh, that's a chalice. If I could hit a Karn with a uh, surgical, that would be amazing. So all they have to do is just not bin any artifacts. Very simple. So they're thinking, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's nice. I'm just gonna play a painter and see what happens. Yeah, I, th I think they were thinking of maybe playing Emery but they, they they have this member for welder. That's something that I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, 
Yeah, they have this member. Um, so if we draw grindstone, we win. Again, they have this member, but it's a good addition though for this member. Do I want to play this one out? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Ah. Creator Maker would be amazing. This is hilarious, right? They played the chalice and either they have nothing in their hand or they slowed themselves down by playing the chalice. Yeah, they, they, they're doing this to themselves. <laughs> We're innocent. I, I, I just made you an ashtray is all. Just. I wrecked your metal bot guy boss, but look, I made you an ashtray. <laughs> just crack something already, come on. Just waiting to... Think they have four mana. They have four mana, but they are not drawing lands. So probably they're waiting to play Urza. But they want the land for it, they don't want to crack the petal. Wow, they're not drawing lands. Even even a second Mox Opal is bad for them. That's just funny. Is this a win? This is a win. Yeah, I, I feel uh, I I think I'm just going to Play it out, but I'm not going to swap. I'll wait till the end of my turn, oh, their turn. Because if I have this member, then me tapping Welder means that they are open to do whatever they want. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this because if they have this, if they have this member, then true. Yeah, so just just waiting, not giving them a whole turn without my welder active, and at the end of their turn, gonna try it. Yeah, could have attacked you, right? Ah, why am I not doing that? Talking too much. <laughs> No, you're right, I'm talking too much. You're right, I did that. God damn it. See, see, I'm <laughs> getting all God, getting all mixed up. This must be really weird for people listening to this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but really that turn one welder does so much work. I feel like they're probably doubting now, thinking I need to do something, obviously, they need to do something. Um, yeah, the thing is, I only have one Pyroblast up, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to get interesting if they have Dismember, Karn. Okay, so exactly, that's what I was thinking. So I could swap out the Petal for the... F I, I need to counter this. I feel like I need to counter this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like I need to counter this. I at least need to get... I definitely want to surgical... Do I want to surgical the chalice? Yeah, let's see what they have. I'm, I'm suspecting a dismember. They don't have this member, okay. They have two Narsets, a Karn and an Emery, so they have nothing. Yeah, so, so we win, exactly. Okay, done with the surgical. Then I'm gonna counter this blue spell. Yeah, Dismember would have made it interesting. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> everything blue, man, everything blue. Um, Dismember would have made it interesting because then they could have gotten rid of our painter. Karn wouldn't have been countered. And then I could have started beating the counter up, uh, the, the Karn up. That would have been a thing. But now they have Narset, Narset, Karn, Emery. So now they're going to look for Echo of Eons, maybe, but they can't play it. Yeah, nothing. Okay. And then... Trying to find a dismember, I suppose. So I can win right now. That's what I'm going to do. I don't want him to draw into... Um, I don't want him to, to draw into, uh, God damn it! what's the name of the word? This member, thank you. That's cool. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for joining, man. Good, good travels. Have fun. And uh, oh, yeah, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Trying. All right, ciao, ciao. Well, we're still going on. We're not stopping. So we play two games right now the first one we won this was against um reanimator they mulliganed a couple of times i might actually just add this in uh, in the video as well but um yeah they mulliganed a couple of times too much and it was it was a very interesting very interesting game it's again a game of atrocity atrocity attrition <laughs> It was an atrocious game. It was a game of attrition. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So I kind of like this hand. Some counters just land and drawing and stuff. It's not the fastest one, but at least it will have us draw into cards. We can play some stuff if counter. I'm, I'm just gonna keep this. Okay. Never go by looks. Holy shit, Trinisphere. No. All right, all right, all right. It's time for the ensnaring bridge. That's really fast. This Winota or something like that. 
At least it's not as chill as I want. Guess we gotta ramp up a little bit. Um, I think I still want the well though. Hmm. Yeah, and next turn we can just play two astrolabes. You never know um, how it's gonna go. Rebel Master. Rebel Rabble. Okay. <laughs> I love it. How big is that guy gonna be? Five. All right, give it to me. Dead next turn, so that's five. S yeah, <laughs> don't even need to count. Um, no chance. Um, bam -ba. okay. Paraclasms would be decent here. Chandra also. Um, they're going to go after mana with Trini Sphere. Surgical, not that interesting. Um, mm -mm -mm. So blasts are not that interesting here. Either Blood Moon is terrible here. It slows them down, but it slows us down too, and they have faster, they have more fast mana. I might board in extra bridge, those are good here. And maybe the extra grindstone. Yeah, I kind of like this. The Chandra is a bit of a wild card, but it's better than these cards anyway. Because they're they're most likely gonna go wide. Yeah, um, the, it doesn't catch Winota. Well, it does directly, but still have four blasts. Okay, let's do this. Turn one grindstone. Turn two engineer, turn three engineer. At least I can get ensnaring bridge if that's important. Um, I can get painter if I draw good stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep this, this is good. Of course they can have the same start, but at least I've got, got more options. Wow, did not expect that. Oh right, yes, of course, thought not steer. Should have known. Luckily I have another bridge, if that's what I want. I might just want to get painted because with a soul land, I win on the spot and they don't have a fast start. And at least with Painter, I could stop Thought Not Seer, even though they, that's the only Adrazi they play, I think. Not really sure. Okay. Slow start. This is a very slow start. I have a Braid, things like that. All right. That on. Engineer would not be amazing. At least I could get Crater Maker with Recruiter. Drawing a land would be amazing here. I would be surprised if they did not, if they would not um, say Engineer. So they see Engineer, Engineer, Pyro, Recruiter, Bridge. That's what they see now. Hmm. 
Call engineer already. So if I don't, then I don't draw land. I'm even inclined to just not do anything on my next turn. So I can swap in the painter and counter something they have. Like if they have a turn three thought not searing, I counter that. That's pretty good. Then as I'm swapping up my grindstone, that's not amazing, but at least I still have the furnace. So then still the same counts. Draw soul and win. I mean, this is a perfect moment to go to the bathroom, I guess. <laughs> hey, Patton. Hey, hey. Uh, we're playing against either mono red stompy or mono no not mono red uh, i think i just either the stompy mono red stompy or the winota um deck but i'm not so sure yet and it seems like they'd also play thought not seer yeah and they've been thinking about this source of spyglass for four mi for uh, three minutes now. Well, I don't know what they're doing, but they cast it, and that's it. That's where we're at right now. Chan, chan, chan. The suspense is building. This is great television. <laughs> so I think at four minutes you start getting a warning for timing out. I think if you don't do anything for five minutes, you're timed out. Not sure. This is not, this is not a way to win.
I don't know, I'm not sure what to tell you. <laughs> I can only think this far ahead. <laughs> so the Sky, uh, Sky Sovereign console flagship, uh, this one kind of came out of not really knowing what we could put in um, that has a direct impact. And for example, if you want to have board interaction. In Bomberman, for example, you could have this one, but you could also have Glass Casket, uh, this artifact that exiles a creature with converted mana cost three or less until it uh, leaves play. And this thing at least doesn't cost white, it's way more expensive. And of course, Bomberman usually has access to a lot more mana due to playing more LEDs, more uh, Lotus Petals and uh, at least, least eight Soul Dance instead of seven in this case. Um, and the good thing is, so we were also thinking about Walking Ballista to the sideboard. Uh, the issue with Walking Ballista is if you have if you have about the same amount of mana, then you have a 2-2, two, two, you can do two damage and, and that's it. And the thing is dead. So it's like, then you would only fetch it for really, really long games if you don't have anything better and you don't have a lot of you know, you don't have the possibility to just get an ensnaring bridge, uh, which from, from my side is in the main right now, uh, and then lattice or something like that. So this thing, oh, that's a shame. This thing, um, oh, this vehicle, uh, at least just triggers, doesn't care about oof, like Rock and Blister does, and it just, um, uh, and it is able to kill Oof, is able to do three damage to Planeswalker, for example, Karn, which is kind of interesting, an opposing Karn. And you can just crew it with Karn. You can you can activate it with the Karn. And then it becomes a fire fire flying when it attacks three damage. That is, that's pretty cool, right? It's just like uh, an upgrade, a different kind of a copter. Well, that was kind of silly. So I don't even know what exactly they played. Um, yeah. Weird. But eh. I guess that sometimes happens. So we're at 4 0 right now. Uh, I'm just quickly going to grab some water. So I think the thing with this deck is what we see a lot in these games is that mulligan and decisions, as with every deck, and even more so with deck that's don't, that don't play cantrips, mulligan and decisions are very impactful. And sometimes it really seems like you could have a decent hand, but then you know, the game turns out differently than you thought, and you're dead in the water. So usually you either want to have a game plan that wins right when you draw an extra mana or something like that. Um, why mana? Because, well, there's just a lot of mana supposed to in the deck, so there's a big chance that you would draw mana as opposed to one of the three grindstones, one of the four painters, and so forth. Um, and so if you have a hand where you could play out the grindstone, and if you draw a soul land, uh, or something like that next turn you win and if you draw a regular source then you win the turn after things like that those are hands that you could definitely think of keeping because in the end you need to be a bit proactive as well you can't um, strategically ha play attrition all the time it really depends on the matchup but you, ca you can't just take step by step to just until the opponent has nowhere to go anymore it's not really that kind of deck it's more a deck of um, you're building out your redundancy uh, towards the win or you're just going straight for the win and it is very interesting as well what someone just recently asked to uh, another imperial painter player of okay when we played a game I noticed that 
the first target that you got with uh, Goblin Engineer was not a combo piece, but it was Sundering Titan or something like that. And why did you do that? And actually, this is a, a, an interesting question, and it's also very much often a good play to get something else in your combo pieces, just as much as sometimes with um, Imperial Recruiter, you could get a Seasoned Pyromancer instead of painter uh, and so forth you really want to have a next step of an idea of what you're going to do that has a direct impact you just want to uh, put the pressure on and keep the pressure up until you finally come back out if you, if you release the pressure then you just risk uh, letting go of the game then the game get out of your your control and then uh, you're losing <sighs> all right so um, and I'm sure we'll get into some situations like that. So in this situation, this is pretty cool. So we could play Welder game, turn one, Painter turn two, for example. Okay. Turn three, Recruiter, four, an Engineer. And then on turn four, or maybe turn five, win. But it sounds very slow, but what we're also talking about is a lot of redundancy. So. And it could, of course, be that we're dead in the water because of they, because they're just going way faster than we are, uh, because it's reanimator or storm or whatever. But sometimes, yeah, you, you 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 can't only play by hate, right? You can't just play a deck that only plays fate or push, terror, and whatever not. You you, you need to do something. Um, you need to do something that furthers your own game plan. Uh, at least this is not the kind of deck that can do that. Okay, so we're probably looking at Rug Delver, meaning that this hand still is kind of uh, still okay. I play the Welder, gets countered. No, uh, yeah. Asphalate won't get countered, so I'm just going to play Asphalate here. Think about days, right? Blood Moon is crazy good against uh, Rug Delver. Wow, okay. I'm just gonna continue our plan. All right. I was happy we played again around that. Custom two cards <laughs> instead of one. It's big. And you just think, ah, fuck, he's gonna play around days. It just gets rid of it. So, of course, they, they have multiple days, but. Ooh, sad on their side. They can have multiple days, but this can kind of assume maybe he doesn't have another days in hand. Hmm. Could never be sure. Alright, so if I play Recruiter. Don't think they would counter it, at least not with days. Yeah, they could, of course. Of course, if they have days, they should use it. Um, but then I will get an engineer and play the engineer next turn. It's just really throwing threats at their face. All right, days, yeah. Shit. I did have another days. Really, I would think that if they that that it doesn't indicate they have a second one. I mean, I mean, I'm not good at this. I'm just thinking, right? Um. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, th then they would have days, days, force of will. That that's pretty extensive, right? And the bad thing is now they could just go arcanist and win the game. <laughs> <laughs> Man drills. 
least have two cards in hand, hoping that they don't have a lot more. At least it's a, it's a stupid beater, right? It doesn't do a lot more. So I would think now we just get, play, play the petal, play Karn, and get Grindstone. And next turn, hopefully win. Yeah, I, I don't expect a lot of things from Karn against Rock Delver. Gosh, woohoo! All right. At least empty handed, but then it is. But then they just draw an Arcanist, and <laughs> I always think, and they just draw an Arctic Arcanist. <laughs> Yeah, they do that, they do that, they do that. At least they don't have a lightning bolt still. So I got one, two, three cards countered. I could kill the Arcanist. I think I'm going to do that. Just kill the Arcanist. And next turn I could... Yeah, let's, let's see next turn. I, yeah, I, I think I think it would be too cute playing Arcanist in Painter. Way too cute, because. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. The opponent also to play Blast. Yeah. So the re a reason why Arcanist works so well is because of all those early counters and because of the bolts and so forth. Uh, I've. I feel like I have to just play bridge, have to play grindstone. So they are dead in the water. I got my bridge on the table. They can counter my pyromancer next turn with nothing because I've got enough mana. So I should be in a good spot here. Can't attack. Yeah. They could have Oka. I, I think I'm just going to uh, discard, like if I draw anything, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to discard it. I, I, I would rather have the 1-1, one, one. I, I could of course exile it for one mana, but then what am I going to play? Engineer? I can already play that. Welder? can play that. Um, Yeah, I don't think they can get, they, they cannot get rid of Bridge, that's the thing, right? That's an interesting one, they, Oko, the Oko is the way to get up rid of the Bridge. Okay, so, yeah, okay. um, they, no, 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 this is Exiled. Okay, this is, this is nice. So I could get Karn, Tormod's Cribs, next turn Painter. <laughs> Oko, uh, Chain Lightning, sure. Rather have the Chain Lightning on the Pyromancer. Yeah, I'm not gonna chain back because it's not gonna do anything. Painter win. Not even sure why they. I'm not even sure why they killed my pyromancer there. That was a weird play. Yeah, I'll just keep it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I play Karn. There's no reason to. Whew. Lattice. Zero cards in hand. Can I play Lattice? Three, four, cannot. Four. One, four, four mana. Yep. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to up a uh, plus Karn. And then next turn I can do Lattice, I can do whatever. Uh... Exactly, that was my point. If I get crypt, then they could bold it. <laughs> yes, it was silly to play the bold <laughs> the paramaster. <laughs> Didn't make any sense. Yeah, 
Yeah, they, they, they didn't play anything for about two, two turns in the beginning, and that was big. So Blood Moon is the VIP. Yeah, yeah, they didn't play anything for like uh, for two, two turns. No land, no cantrip. They just had the counter. So they had two dazes, two force of will, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and they didn't find anything off their first ponder. So that was interesting. Um, bridge is good. Finish fair. No. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah, they will bring creature destruction, um, a braid probably. You know, I actually kind of like my main deck against them. Only thing that I would do is something like this, perhaps, or like that, because bridge is good since they have big creatures. This thing might seem weird, but it, it kills off Arcanist. Yeah, maybe it's a bit greedy on the draw. Exactly, it ignores counter spells. It wipes their board. Not all their board though, that's annoying. Um. No, we can't hear them, no. No lightning bolts. Okay, we gotta make a decision. Um, I think Chandra, no. Too much. I think I'm just gonna get an extra bridge in. Exactly, it does answer Arcanist to some extent, and it is just like w w what's the first thing we'd get with Arc uh, with with Karn bridge, mostly. So might as well swap those out. Have one cheaper instead of seven mana. It costs three mana. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, do, 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 no artifacts. It's no artifacts. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, right? It plays creatures and it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. Okay, this is a Blood Moon and Bridge. I, ca I kind of like this hand beca because they're... Yeah, it's, it's just that these two cards are going to be valuable whatever happens, right? I'm gonna empty my hand quickly as well, yeah. So I'm just gonna get rid of the Astrolabe, can't cast it, and it doesn't help our plan. Because we need the rest. Ideally, just draw a soul land and play, I don't know, Moon with counter backup, something like that. So they went to five cards, that is something as well. So I am not, I'm not going to do anything right now. Yeah. Of course, they, they, they will have an answer. 
So being able to have a turn to Blood Moon with uh, backup, that's great. I mean, they could of course play uh, Arcanist, but then if they're locked out from playing, um, so, so they, can, they can play one Brainstorm and hopefully that's it, right? Do they have basics? No, no basics yet. Arcanist. Oh, that really hurts. That really hurts. That closes off everything. <laughs> Turn to oof. Yep. And I don't have pyroclasm. Wow. Well, if we play Blood Moon, we are way far ahead and if they play oof, they're way far ahead. Yeah, now we can hear you, yeah. I'm fucked. <laughs> hey man. Yeah, yeah, I had a turn two Blood Moon. I, I didn't play a turn one Blood Moon because I want to have the Power Blast back up and then the turn, uh, turn two oof happened. Yeah, that was, oh, that hurt, that hurt. Oh, just see it coming down. I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna have the Dreadheart Arcanist turn two. But he, mul he mulliganed to five. Yeah. They, they really mulliganed down to, to the oof, I think. Yeah. Right, that hurts. I'm I'm sorry to hear that. Three sneaking show decks in a row sounds painful. It just sounds extremely painful. All right. Can I get a non artifact land? Okay. Oh man. Oh, this is completely over. I just want to see what I'm gonna draw. The uh, Soul End Painter. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. It 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 isn't over till it's over, and you were close to the. Uh, I mean, we actually had counter counter backup to play the bridge, right? <laughs> That's crazy. So close. Oh, this hurt. This hurt. And I'm even thinking: should I bring the pyroclasm in? Damn it. Or. It's it's slow, yeah, it's really slow. Paraclasm is going to be super awkward because of uh, uh, Dreadhood Arcanist, their big creatures and, and the Seasoned Pyromancer. But I... Yeah, yes. Yeah, uh. Oh yeah, recruiter is not that great. Pfft. Bridges are still good. Okay, at least they cannot shut off my artifacts. 
the annoying thing is I cannot have Blood Moon with counter backup just yet. But at least I have a turn one play and I can get towards Blood Moon. So I think I'm gonna keep this. Yeah. It's 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 not amazing, but yeah. Yeah, they will get rid of the welder. They, they, they will count. They will get rid of the welder. I'm sure. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. No, I mean, it's it's good of them to respect the welder. Just as much as you should respect Mother of Ruins, you have to respect the welder. Yeah. Okay, Moon with counter backup. Here we go. Bring it on. Days and Force of Will. Um, to remove a blood moon? I think I'm... Do you want to counter this? No. Uh, no. Fuck! Uh, they do have the force of will and the days. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. That force of will and the days. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did. Two forces on the days. Uh, gonna play out the furnace here. Oh man. Now I'm gonna draw on the lands. <laughs> yep, two forces in the days. That was that's intense. That, that that's how they do it. That's that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let it resolve. Okay, the hooting mandrels. Okay. Well, there's no reason to, there's no reason to play it out right now, right? It, in the, the deck that you play uh, is way more all in, so it's way more likely to find people who have chalice on zero, I guess. So th this is this is yeah, this this can happen, right? Um, I drew mana sources four times in a row. Yeah, because this is turn, f their turn five. Besides my, I only drew lands. I only drew mana sources, nothing else. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we, I, I think it was a good hand to start with. I think th th this, is, this is just our deck saying no, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. They countered everything I had. And if if I if I if I use the tombs, if I use the tombs, then I'm dead, right? Okay. I only drew I only drew mana sources. I only drew mana sources. Uh 
Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, to block. So ideally I draw a bridge or, I don't know. And then I'm at one and then they bolt, right? Is that right? I'm at one then? No, it's, it's, it's uh, yeah. So different, yeah. But yeah, Jesus, even, even bridge is not going to do much. Not enough. I, I'm, I'm going to play it anyway, but. Bolt. Yeah, yeah. I'm dead next turn. If I don't play another creature, I'm dead next. Uh, no, turn after. Yeah. Uh, I, I do have a second red source, but then I, I, I block it, two damage gets trampled, and, and I'm done. Right? So even create to make it doesn't do anything. Um, engineer for bridge doesn't do anything. The issue is, I can't even use my lands. Yeah. Next turn I go to one, then I cast Painter and I'm dead. But it doesn't do anything though. I mean, then, then I go down to two. What is the, what's the difference between going down to two and going down to one? Yeah, welder is better because I go down to one anyway. I cast a welder. If I draw a bridge, I am okay. If I draw an engineer, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, of course, an engineer, I can find bridge, put it into the graveyard, switch uh, furnace with bridge with welder. And now they just build. <laughs> oh, that was nuts. They had force of will, force of will, days, mandrills. Yeah, which 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 was where the pyroclasm shine shown. <laughs> that was good. Yep, there we go.
Ah, uh, fine, have it. Oh no, I want to draw. Can I draw a card? How do I draw a card? Okay, return to game. Yeah, that would have been. That would have been uh, the the bridge. <laughs> Oh, you, you should never do this. You should never. It, it's such a. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just laugh because it just shows how much variance is a, is a thing in the game. You know, we drew, we drew in total. Um, how many cards did we draw? Uh, I'm really bad at this. So it was, let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We drew an extra card with Recruiter, so we're at 14. So s six cards that we drew were mana sources. <laughs> right. Right. Oh yeah. If you, if if you have a bad echo of eons, a couple of times that that's horrible. But but the thing is, you also when you play explosive echo of eons decks, you also play a lot of fluff, right? I mean, I'm not saying that that makes it okay, but it's yeah, you can expect it. Kind of it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I, I'm not even sure why I can Oh, right. So, so this is just the first game of that I already played. So this is a replay. I'm I was just going through it, like, because I I did pretty well in this one. Uh, although they um went down to five cards, right? So they they revealed the chance of the annex, and I was thinking, you know, I'm just gonna play the astrolabe to to get rid of that effect. But then I thought. No, I actually want to draw a card because <laughs> I'm not going to play anything uh, on turn two right now that's going to matter, right? Uh, ideally, you would have Pyromancer, but you need to ask for labor for that. And then to do this. All right, see you later, man. Ciao, ciao. So here they got rid of the pyromancer and it kind of gives me the feeling that yeah as, i mean as you can see the one card in hand they don't have a lot they're just going to play for the longer game or the mid game right because pyromancer is such a big boss in that so now at least i could just you know could draw an extra card because that's the thing that's going to matter here draw into more mana at least yeah they just sh shouldn't draw uh a reanimation spell. <laughs> they keep they keep thoughts using me. <laughs> of Grizzle Brand, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. True, true. Yeah, they can't use Grizzle Burn. So, so here I thought I'm just going to get Painter because whenever they have something else, then we animate it and just counter it. And here, of course, they need to get the Chancellor. But the beautiful thing is, I can just play Painter and kill it. <laughs> yeah. 
blasts are just so strong and i still really do think that the strength of uh of, of the painted decks is is blasts it's just blasts in general for the meta but also blasts because you can direct them via painter well obviously for the red painted decks uh and i don't think it would work if you just play hydro blasts and blue elemental blasts simply because then they are dead cards way too often but since blue is such a big portion of the meta that is why it works so well it's like in the games that you uh need them to just counter blue things they do that and otherwise you just wait a little bit or you search and then you know you just go on ahead like it is so so strong so that's why i always think whenever i see someone play red and not play at least four pyroblasts they should probably play more then that feels kind of weird like you're not playing to your strengths trying to be too cute <laughs> So, yeah, that was game... Oh, did I just close it now? Yeah, I think that's how it goes, right? It's so weird, the interface. Um, let, let me just... One, two, three, four, five. Because the game two was also pretty good. I think I'm not even sharing anymore, am I? No. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. So, game two. This is kind of sad, where they also mulliganed to four. I don't know why you would have gone into four. What's happening? It's crazy. And here I just thought, you know what? Uh, if you have your turn one, you win. If you don't and you have your mana base on petals, then I've got Karn and we can go from there. True. Yeah. Yeah, I uh blue was slower for sure. Um, but I've but I've definitely felt that if you look at good pilots of a uh, black red reanimator, then you know why it's so insanely good. Uh, it's a very consistent deck. You just need to know when to mulligan and how to play around specific things. And so, for example, if you look at Landon, uh, the E E W Land, I don't know what his first name is. Uh, the guy he he streams an awful lot and he is really really good really knows the deck well and is so fast it, that you wouldn't get away with cute plays at all like this could ex this guy could uh, this person could of course be extremely unlucky but at the same time do you really need to mulligan to four when you have a deck that is actually really consistent that sounds weird Right, yeah, yeah. Right. E yeah, e e w is it's just a it's a yeah. Yeah. 
that's a thing too yeah and what, what you're describing right now with with, with him if, someone who really really knows their own deck and also knows if i mulligan this what am i expecting to get and how big is the chance that that's going to be better than what i see right now and you really need to know your deck for that and thinking okay i have this very tricky it looks like a tricky hand i need to draw um uh, a specific mana source how big is my chance to draw it is it worth taking that risk right because if i don't draw anything i'm dead in the water for a turn or maybe two turns mm -hmm. right yeah yeah for sure uh so so with burn for example then i think we're really talking about